So good morning from the beautiful sunny Florida. Welcome to my life of learning. Today we're going to talk about why passive income. And this is one of the reasons, this is one of the main reasons to me, because the freedom to do what you want to do when you want to do it with who you want to do it with. Let's get into it. So good morning from the sunny beaches of Florida. I wanted to take a few minutes to talk to you a little bit about why passive income is so important to me and, and why I think it's something that everyone should learn about and take the opportunity and the time to get to know how it could change their life. But so why is passive income so important? Well, for me, it's all about the freedom the freedom to do what's most important to you when you want to do it. Many people have to be at a certain job by a certain time, commit a certain amount of hours every week or almost every week of the year to doing what someone else wants done so they can use that to pay their bills. Well, for me, that's not an option. At very young, I, I learned that I want to do things my way. I want to spend my time my way I didn't want to have someone telling me what needed to be done and when I had to do it. So for me, it's about freedom. That's, that's something that's at the heart of passive income. You get to pick what you want to do. Maybe you do want to keep working that job. Maybe that is what you truly want to do. And that's what passive income can allow you to do is to decide how to spend your time, how to spend your life and what you want to focus on, what's most important to you. Passive income is totally changed my life. The first few years of my working life, I uh, real quickly decided to work for myself. And that allowed me to have some flexibility. Again, I had to be at a certain place at a certain time and had appointments where I had to meet people for the business and it just wasn't what I wanted long term. It did pay well and I did have the opportunity to learn how to build a business, but ultimately, it wasn't passive and so I ended up ended up dreading going to that business and that job. So it didn't work for me long term. Fortunately I began to study and learn about how passive income worked and once I realized what it could do for me at that point my whole future was changed. So how much effort and time does it take to get to where a person wants to be where they can make a living just on passive income? Well that's really up to each individual person. If you're the kind of person like I am, once I decide there's something I want to learn about, I become almost obsessed with it. And that's what drives me. I, I enjoy that. I enjoy learning about how to build a business, about how to, in this case, how to make passive income work for me and help me to achieve where I wanted to be in life and what I wanted to do financially, uh, personally, and eventually how I could use those income streams to help others like I'm trying to do here with this video with you today. But it does take time and it does take some energy. It takes commitment and effort. And really it should be an ongoing thing that you work on continually. Even to this day, 20 some years later, I'm still studying and learning new ways to generate passive income, new techniques, how to do it. So it's really something that you never stop learning. The important thing is that you begin and that you put the things into practice that you're learning. Well, how old do you need to be to start passive income? That's one of the beautiful things about passive income. There are, there are many beautiful things, but that's one of the beautiful things. I have a 10 year old daughter that has now been investing passively since she was about five or six years old. And there's a interview with her that I'll be doing here on my channel. But as you'll see, you can start as young as, as a person can almost begin to earn some money to invest in. And the important thing is to teach yourself or to learn how you can go about um, improving your passive income. So there is no set age requirement to begin to earn passive income. My daughter, when she was five or six years old, she began to invest and has never stopped. I have a 17-year-old daughter that she too began to invest when she was about seven or eight years old 
and she has never stopped until this day now that she works for my companies she is still taking half of her paycheck and investing it and although she is working for a living right now she's also investing so that one day soon hopefully she'll be able to live her life funded by passive income what about the rewards well the rewards are are great there's so many rewards it's hard to list them all but to me the main ones are the freedom to do what you want to do when you want to do it also it's just fun to build something that you can watch grow something that that takes care of you financially you're starting your own business which is extremely fulfilling and you, you can watch it grow and be a part of it for example this this business I'm starting now with education although I do mentor people already I mentor nine people at the moment uh, teaching them how to do real estate it's one-on-one -on -one mentoring uh, in this way with education to a to a mass of people you're able to help a lot of people and that's really fulfilling and really this project now with education is not something that I'm making money on down the road I'd like to make some money on it because it's always fun it's a way of measuring but it's something that I just enjoy doing if it wasn't for the passive income I had in real estate as well as in stocks and options and dividend stocks there's there's no way I could be spending time creating a channel like this to help teach others about passive income and then of course there's the financial rewards the nice thing about passive income is that you can just grow it there's no limit whereas if you have a job like a doctor or a lawyer you have to be there to earn that money it's not the case with passive income once you get the machine going once you invest you simply manage the process if there is some management involved which typically there's not going to be much but you can grow it exponentially you can never stop growing it because it truly is passive for the most part for example dividends and options and stocks that can be managed um, with just minutes or maybe an hour once a month or two hours once a month you can manage a, a multi-million dollar portfolio not the case if you're a doctor you have to be there to make that money same way with real estate once you have a team in place a management company a system for getting the properties fixed up when you buy them well at that point you just manage the system and it's not very much work at all whereas the income is is exponential monthly and yearly passive income so real estate is, is my is my oldest my oldest passive income stream and it's actually my base in addition to that I have been trading options for many years well over 15 years and I like trading options on dividend stocks so I kind of get a two-for-one there and that you get the passive income from selling options but you also get the dividends from those those dividend stock companies and along with those I also invest in MLPs and also BDCs business development companies those are all um, passive income streams that are similar to stocks that I invest in another avenue I use is, is ebooks written several ebooks several under some some uh, pen names as well as the one on option trading that I encourage you to check out it's called new beginnings the option trading store if you're interested and those generate some passive income as well as affiliate marketing those are all tools that I use to generate passive income and I really enjoy all of them over the years has gotten to where real estate is not quite my favorite although it is very powerful uh, the returns I get from my real estate are insane and it's something that I will do the rest of my life I just won't do it on the scale that I've done it in the past but all of them are passive income streams that I encourage you to look into to see which ones match your personality because they can all be awesome passive income streams that you can tap into when it comes to how much money you can make from passive income well really the sky is the limit as I mentioned before passive income if it's done correctly doesn't require a bunch of employees um, it requires really just you and, and teams behind the scenes that you can oversee or manage to whatever degree you want if you hire professional managers then you don't even have to worry about dealing with the day-to-day -day of real estate uh, personally I have a property manager that I meet with him one time a week I spend a couple hours with him reviewing all of our numbers reviewing our properties so it's not a hundred percent passive because I spend that hour a week but it's something I enjoy doing and and I I like to stay on top of the projects and the numbers so that's why I still do it but really the sky is the limit on how much you can make it really amounts to how much time you want to commit to it 
your education, which is probably most important in the long term. And the amount that you can make is, is really, there's, there's no limit. Look at someone like Warren Buffett. He does spend a lot of time reading and researching, but for him, that's really a hobby. So really, he's doing a hobby. That's why he hasn't retired even at the ripe age that he's at, because it's really a, a hobby for him. So it's something you can just grow your entire life. And if you want to take two, six, 12 months, 24 months off to see the world or go experience new things, you can come back and begin to grow it again. You can take that time off from growing those passive income streams if you want to. And then when you get back, you can start growing it again. So that's one of the huge advantages to passive income. You can take sabbaticals, you can quit if you get burned out and come back and it's still there. It's still generating income for you while you're while you're off doing what you want to do, playing, I'd say. And then you can come back and continue to grow the machine. And that's, I've done that multiple times over the years. So what does a person need to start investing in passive income? Well, the biggest thing is education. You don't need a lot of money. If you check out some of the videos on my channel here, you'll see there's the ways to invest in real estate with no money down. Stocks and options, you really need some cash. And real estate, it definitely makes it easier. But in real estate, that's one of the huge advantages of real estate is you don't have to have cash to invest. There are deals you can do where there's no money down, 100% financing, uh, owner financing, subject twos. There's ways you can do it without having to have a bunch of cash. If you do some of the other ones like trading options or dividend stocks or MLPs and, and BDCs, then you do need some cash, so you need to make some money maybe from real estate like I did and then use that to invest. So as you can see, passive income is an awesome way to make a living. It's one that I have used for over 20 years. And it's one I'm trying to teach others how to, to use to totally change their life. It's enabled me to live a life of freedom, a life where I choose what I do every day. And it's something I'll never regret. It's so important to me and I feel so passionate about it. I'm teaching both of my daughters how to do it. I hope that this video has helped you get a better grasp of how passive income can change your life. If you got something out of it, please hit the thumbs up, smash the like button, and subscribe. Those subscriptions are important. Our goal is to get to a thousand subscriptions. YouTube does not monetize you until you hit a thousand subscriptions. So we definitely want to get monetized. So please, I appreciate your support. Uh, please hit the subscribe button. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, happy investing.